Recently, we posted a quick tip from Ilse Zamaripa on how it's a good practice to clean up the audio of your dialogue shots if you're going to edit the timing of the original clip. Using the audio from that same animation, we wanted to go a step further and show you ways of how you can clean your audio with both free and paid software options. If you know any other ways to clean up your audio or any other software, please drop it in the comments below. First, let's take a look at Adobe Audition. To start off, import your audio or video file by selecting the file menu and open, or you can just drag it into this little file window here and double click to open. Just note, if you're importing your video, you have to save it out as a WAV file and re-edit it with the new audio afterwards. But if you are editing with Premiere, there is a live link between the two programs, removing the step of having to export it back out. Now that the audio has loaded, let's take a listen. Thanks for staying with me. I know we have our issues, but I hope you know that I would do the same for you. At first glance, we can't quite see where the audio is stopping and starting. So in the menu bar, you'll see this icon here. This opens what is called the spectral frequency display. It's kind of like a heat map where we can clearly see where the gaps in the audio are. Here, for example, and you can see here as well. What we want to do is select a piece of the noise in the audio that doesn't have any other noise except what we're trying to remove. So we don't want to select the clock ticking or the characters speaking or breathing. Then what we want to do is come up to the effects menu and select noise reduction slash restoration and then noise reduction process. If we want to see what is happening under the hood, we can click this button here to open up a preview window. So up here we'll have the original audio and down below we'll see what the process is doing. First, with the noise sample selected, we want to click Capture Noise Print. You can now see that we have this graph here. What we want to do is start moving these points of the graph to match the green noise with the yellow noise. You can also click on the line to create new points for finer adjustment if you need to. Once this is done, we can now move on to some other options. For noise reduction, we can bring this up to 100% and we can choose how much we want to reduce the noise by. For this example, we'll move it up to 100 decibels, but keep in mind this can degrade the rest of the voices and audio in the clip. We can see here that it's already cleaned up the audio significantly, but if you need to, in the advanced options, we can play around with some of these settings. We can bump the smoothing up to the maximum of 1024, and the transition width and precision factor can stay the same, but feel free to play around with the options. The important one here is the spectral decay rate, and we want to start to reduce this until we see enough of a reduction in the noise. Like I said, this is already pretty good, so I'm gonna leave it here, but if you need to, maybe try playing around with reducing it to zero. Now we're gonna select the entire file and we're going to hit apply. Close the preview pane and let's have a listen. Thanks for staying with me. I know we have our issues, but I hope you know that I would do the same for you. It's definitely better, but we can still hear this warbling noise. So if we take a look at the spectral decay map, we can kind of see where it's happening here. And what we can do is come up to the menu bar here and we can use these selection tools to isolate the problematic sound. With this new sample selected, we can repeat the noise reduction steps that we've just done. This helps, but we can still see some artifacting, which we can easily remove by using our selection tools, isolating the areas, coming up to effects, and then selecting silence or by pressing two on the keyboard. Let's listen now. Thanks for staying with me. I know we have our issues, but I hope you know that I would do the same for you. That's actually pretty good. But let's move on to the next option, which is Audacity. And Audacity is a free to download program for PC and Mac. Once you've installed it, open the program and you'll need to import your file, 
Now, we won't be able to open the video file, so it will need to be converted to a WAV file before continuing. Audacity also has a spectral display and you can find it by clicking on this down arrow next to the file name and selecting Spectrogram. Here we have a very similar process to Audition. Choose your selection tool, select the noise print that you want to remove and under the effects menu select noise removal and repair and noise reduction. In this new dialog box choose get noise profile which is going to take the sample that we've just selected the window will close and now we want to select the entire file by double clicking it and open the noise reduction window again. Here we can play around with the settings. I've got a reduction of 35 decibels. The sensitivity and frequency I'm leaving the same at 6 and you can preview your audio or just press OK. Let's take a listen. Thanks for staying with me. I know we have our issues, but I hope you know that I would do the same for you. Already we can hear that's a hundred times better than what we got out of Audition straight away. There's very little remaining artifacts and if we want to clean those up, take your selection tool, select them and in the menu choose Generate and Silence and then select Generate. Now lastly, as a bonus, we have Descript. Descript is a text-based video editor that we ourselves use for sourcing our quick tips from the animation reviews we receive. It's both free and paid, but for a short audio file to clean up, the free version is fine. Once installed, you want to select new, and depending if you are cleaning up just an audio file or your whole video, you can choose either option. Once done, select add file. It's going to transcribe the audio, and when finished, it will display the transcription. Now we want to click show timeline and select the audio track. You'll notice a new panel opened up with some options for us to use. You want to come down to audio effects and switch on studio sound. It will work its magic and now we can listen to the file. Thanks for staying with me. I know we have our issues, but I hope you know that I would do the same for you. Now, by far, this has been the cleanest audio that was produced, and it even removed the echo we were hearing in the original track. However, you may have noticed it removed the breathing of the character, as well as the ticking of the clock, which could be added back in afterwards. So if we were to choose the best option, we'd have to say it's the free ones. Audacity was able to clean up the audio in one swoop without having to go back in and remove too much of the extra artifacting, and it kept the background sound effects of the clock and the characters breathing. However, Descript is clearly the champion when it comes to cleaning the audio and making it sound studio quality. So what are your thoughts and which one would you choose? Thanks for joining us. We hope this tip will make your audio a thousand times better and show recruiters that you've taken that extra little step to make your work shine. Until next time, stay animated.